Welcome to Violin Adventures number 43. I had a great visit with family and now we're back to making instruments. We start off with the zither. Here's the frame of the zither. Now the back of the zither is drying. Now we're doing a temporary glue up to get the edges flat to the surface. Now comes the supports for the tuning pegs. And here's just a peek outside. This is early in the morning. We're getting a nice gentle rain. Next we did some carving on the new violin. Here's a good zither that I can copy. So I've got the back supports on, the hole is drilled, and now I, I laid out where the different bridges will go. But I want to give it a test. Before I close this zither up and start attaching the bridges, I want to make sure that the strings are all lined up correctly. Okay, so what's going on is these strings are arranged in different keys. And so we have the main string, which is a real low string. And next to it are usually three notes of that chord that are really close together and then evenly spaced after that is the rest of the chord that you may want to um, play separately so they're spaced a little further apart. So that's what I'm planning here is trying to make sure that these strings are going to uh, match up and not going to hit each other. The tall ones won't be hitting the lower strings and so forth. So I've got most of it planned out, but it looks like this middle one, I may need to move over just a hair to make room for the top so they don't touch. I'm thinking I can go ahead and glue the top on. Then we'll need to do the painting first before we put the bridges on. 
because I noticed on the old zither that I'm copying, some of the placement didn't allow the string to hit the pin and then create a good tone. Um, they were, they were, the alignment wasn't correct. So I'm trying to make sure that the alignment will be correct on this one. Okay, so I'm going to show you the progress of the zither. Here's the original that we're trying to copy. And the hardest part is planning out the strings so that they all lay in an organized fashion. So here's the zither. We're just closing it shut. And here's where I checked the strings and where they will end up, making sure they're spaced properly. And this is my pattern. These are the things that we still have to work on. We have the bridges made now. The wires will be attached to the bridges. So this is where I lay them out and make sure it is all working and that's the way I keep it organized. The next thing we need to do is to paint it. So I'll be painting it black like this. And it looks like these were gold. So I'll be painting the bridges gold. And then we still need to put in the tuning pegs and the pins. So we have a little way to go. But that's the zither table. So here's the old violin. We got new pegs fitted and now we just have to cut off the ends. So we'll do that next. Look at that fingerboard. It's nice, dark, and healthy looking, and that's Okay, this is the very first sounds from this violin. Okay, that was hard 
to play. So that means I need to move the sound post. Okay, it's the end of another week. Here on the table, we have three beautiful boards of cherry. Those we're going to get ready for a harp. Here's the violin back. We've made some progress. You can see the shape in it now. It needs to go down a little bit more. So here's the old violin. Sounding good, and it's ready to go put up uh, for sale in the showroom. Here is the zither table. The original is here, and here is all painted black. It's drying right now. And our next plan is to put decoration around here similar to this. It won't be the same and then figuring out a way to put in all the letters and here are the letters that need to go down there and a little decoration these are the bridges that are ready to go after we get the decoration on and the, the pins in then over here Hanging out in the sun is our varnished violin. And this one, I basically forgot about him all week. He needs a good run rub down. And then we'll see if he needs another coat or not. But he's looking good. Here is the violin display box. I've just been gathering some decor I might put on it. But other than that, it hasn't moved much. Did you miss the violin adventures? Leave your comments below. The Hebrew Minute. So today I'm reading out of the Aramaic, the second half of the Bible, or what we call the New Testament. There's some great argument that it was originally written in the Aramaic, which is the language that
that the Hebrew came out of. And one of those reasons is that Greek at that time would have been considered a pagan language. So here we go. I'm reading to you in the Aramaic. Anaton dain sharavta, anaton gavata demachana, lamelakota ama adashia nasha adika savaron avakta dahu akarhon mean lenora mitera. But you are a chosen generation or race who serve as priests for the kingdom, a holy people, an assembly of the redeemed, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you from darkness to his excellent or marvelous light. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your comments and your thumbs up. Until next time, God bless you. Bye.